This song, I Wrote with Phil Barr, in tribute to the departed Hollywood stars, is also for you, Michael, wherever you are. the humanitarian side of Michael Jackson. The world is deeply saddened, deeply, deeply saddened by the passing of one of the greatest legends of all times. I had the distinct honor and the privilege to meet Michael Jackson and his wife, Lisa Murray, at the Children's Hospital in Budapest in 1994, when I was doing humanitarian work, making a difference in children's lives as Michael was doing. 
You may not know this, but before giving a concert, Michael Jackson regularly visited sick children in hospitals, bringing them gifts and giving them hope. This little boy, Bela Farkas, had been abandoned by his mother and was about to die of liver failure. Michael and Lisa Murray located a transplant liver, paid for the operation, and the boy's life was saved. We instantly connected, and as our eyes met at the Hungarian Children's Hospital, it was an unspoken understanding that our passion in life was helping making a difference in terminally ill children's lives through music. When I expressed this thought to him, he smiled and said, just keep up the good work, as he and Lisa Murray were whisked away by bodyguards. However, his soft-spoken voice, his gentle manners, his sparkling eyes, and the magic of his smile will always linger in my mind and in my heart forever. This song is connected to Michael Jackson because my musical director, Jeff Lewis, co-owner of Moonlight Studios in LA with uh, David Vasquez, was the only white musician of the Jackson 5 and, of course, Michael Jackson. Here is a rare photo of Michael Jackson before his transformation with my musical director, Jeff Lewis. And here is the Jackson 5 once again with Jeff Lewis. I do all my recordings at the Moonlight Studios, as many Hollywood stars do. So Michael Jackson's spirit was definitely, definitely present when we recorded this song. So please listen to it, the stars of Hollywood, and let me know what you think. If you want to know more about my song that represented the spirit of Hollywood at the Cannes Song Festival in France, then stay tuned for a short segment of a television interview by Audrey Franklin, longtime promoter of Ella Fitzgerald. But you brought a videotape of a song that you sang at the middle. At the and it's called uh, "The Stars of Hollywood," and I did. I wrote this song with Gilbar. That song was really "Stars of Yesterday." That's right. "Stars of Yesterday" in Hollywood is Absolutely. still very, very big. Very popular. You should yes. tell Ted Turner too, because he wow, he Ted does Turner. a lot of the old movies. <laughs> Can you hear Ted Turner? Ooh. "Stars of Yesterday" in Hollywood. You yeah, can't. <laughs> it's perfect. Yes. Perf Bye. 